still small voice cries out to my soul. Hey everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts. So today I'm at my machine at my Amara and I have a small table runner loaded. So this table runner fits in the throat depth. It's not very wide. And I'm gonna show you a technique for setting up edge to edge designs that I don't really use that often. If you've watched any of my other instructional videos, you know that I have a slightly different approach to doing edge to edge. But this is a small project. And we have now Pro Stitcher Designer. So I want to show you a couple of steps that you can do with Pro Stitcher Premium, a couple of steps that you can do with Designer and make this project super simple and super fast. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to mark a two corner area on this quilt. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Very simple. All I'm going to do is go up to the top left of my project, do area, two corner, I'm gonna come down to the bottom right and do another area two corner. And the rest of the steps I'm gonna do for you from within simulation because one, that's how I do it, and two, it's just easier for me to show you up close and personal with simulation. So let me get the area marked. I'm gonna save the area onto a USB stick and I'll meet you inside of simulation. All right, everyone, here we are inside of simulation. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is pick a design to work on this table runner. Well, I am gonna use my QPI product to do that. Here we are at the home screen. This is not gonna be a tutorial on QPI, but I'm gonna go through it real quickly. I'm just gonna make sure that I am clicked on my pattern folders. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna search for an edge-to-edge -edge design that has leaves in it. Now, all of this is explained in other videos that we have on the QPI website. You can go to quiltpatternindexer.com and there's much more information there. You can search the QPI community Facebook group for other videos I've done. And of course, you can search QPI on my YouTube channel. But let's just go with this for now. I'm gonna hit enter and what it does is pulls up all of the patterns that I have that I had previously keyworded with the words edge to edge and the word leaves. And I think the one that I'm gonna use this time is this real cute little trellis pattern. It's kind of got these ribbons, it's got the small leaves, and it's a tighter, denser type of a pattern, which for me is gonna work better on a table runner because I want that table runner to be real flat when it's on the surface of my table. All right, all I have to do is right click from QPI, go copy file to, I'm going to point myself at my flash drive. There is the folder that I had created. I'm going to double click on that. It puts the word trellis down here in the file name and I'm just going to hit save. Okay, let's transition back over to Pro Stitcher. And now I'm ready to build my edge to edge design. All right, let's just go back to file, design. I'm going to hit point to point and Pro Stitcher has done a pretty good job of fitting that in the space. Now I'm going to stop here just temporarily and let you know that there certainly are different ways of approaching edge to edge stitching. I have a video, it's called edge to edge for newbies. And that would be a really good video for anybody who's listening, who's quite new with your system to review. I approach edge to edge in that video, basically similar to what I'm gonna show you here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these passes so that the machine will stitch from left to right and then from right to left. Okay, we're gonna transition over to Pro Stitcher Designer. One of the things that I love to do in my studio is stitch my edge to edge designs in both directions. Now there are several ways actually of approaching this without physically connecting them. But what we're gonna do today is a really slick thing that you can do with your Pro Stitcher designer to connect them together so that your machine doesn't stop at the edges. Okay, it's a very simple thing to do. I do it all the time. And now with the new Pro Stitcher designer, makes it very, very easy. 
So the first thing is there are different ways to access your designs from within Designer, but I'm just at the home screen. I've got the open design button right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open and there we have it. Let's take a minute and just go through a couple of the things on the screen. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial about Designer itself, but I'm going to show you a few easy things right now that you can do on this one small simple project. All right, now the steps to connect these passes so that it will stitch in both directions. And just like that, in a few keystrokes, we've been able to take multiple rows and connect them into one stitchable design. Okay, let's transition back over to Pro Stitcher. Okay, now I want to take a quick time out and let you know that I'm showing you this step in simulation again because it's easier for me to show you. All right, folks, here we are back at the Amara. The table runner is loaded. I went ahead and returned the flash drive into the port. And you will notice that on my screen is the area that I had previously created. There's my stitches per inch. We're on base right now. Oops, don't want that. All right, just went ahead and hit pause so that you can see we're getting down here towards the right hand end. And let's scroll up onto the to the screen, you can see that orange part is what's already been stitched. And there we go. Wow, that was easy. Stay plugged in by following along on the website. Get yourself signed up for our email newsletter. All of those ways are ways to stay plugged in with M4.